What's up guys? So, literally if you've watched my last video, you'll notice that I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm going back to back videos right now because I've got a lot on my mind. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I see in the gym, whether it be at where I, where I work at the edge in Bristol or whether it be at the, the gym that I work out at, Iron Horse in New Hartford. And the only reason why I work out at Iron Horse is because it's the best gym in New Hartford. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I work out at Iron Horse. Um, a lot of specialty bars, it's a great gym. Very, very small, clean. But the reason for this video is because I see a lot of um, misinformation on YouTube, but also I see a lot of misinformation in the gym. Um, there's a couple things that, you know, don't exist, right? One being um, targeted fat loss, uh, there's no such thing. Um, and one being like, one, and, and the other like just trying to reinvent the wheel. Guys, it really is, um, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, the, the best way, the only way to lose weight is to um, be in a calorie deficit. The only way to gain muscle and gain weight, be in a calorie surplus. If you don't want to gain or lose, stay isocaloric, stay at a, at, you know, stay at a maintenance level calorie and you won't gain or lose. So that, it really is that simple. Now, the intricacies of, you know, of what to do in the gym, it, it, that, that varies. Now, it depends on your goal. If your goal is to be, you know, a bodybuilder and you want to step on stage and be a bodybuilder and have, you know, a very good, a very nice physique, then yes, doing a lot of machines and, and um, jumping on like different types of machines is very beneficial for you because you're targeting very specific muscle groups in a very specific way. But if your goal is general fitness or strength, you need to be moving. You need to be uh, utilizing uh, or, or you need to be recruiting as much muscle fiber within every movement as possible. And if you're not, then you're wasting your time. You know, doing pec deck flies when you're trying to get stronger, you know, as a main move or, you know, doing every single machine in the gym when you're just trying to get stronger uh, is, is, is a giant waste of time for yourself. Now, in the beginning, you will see strength gains, but, if any, but that will halt very quickly. So what I suggest is, is you look into things like, you know, a, a, a book called Starting Strength by Mark Ripto. Um, it's, it's a very good beginner template of how to get strong and, you know, how to lift properly. Um, now, that's not to say if you are at a certain level of fitness that you should start do you, you start strength. Some people swear by it. You know, Mark Ripto will tell you, you only use his book and linear progression and blah, blah, blah. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that necessarily be the case. It just hasn't worked for me. Um, I follow more of a conjugate method, like West Side Barbell. Now, I'm not saying I follow a West Side Barbell program because I don't train with Louie. Um, I am not a West Side lifter as much as I would like to be. If they lived in the East Coast, I'd be fucking there in their like swimwear. Um, I look up to them greatly. Um, but that's beside the point. But my point is, 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 you know, depending on your goal and what you want to achieve, you know, that's how you should periodize and, and strategize your, your strength training. Um, you know, doing, trying to do everything in the gym, um, is, 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 uh, useless for, for strength and even for just general fitness. Uh, you should be, you just, just with within your program whether if you write it for yourself if you can't afford a trainer and you can't afford to buy programming from somebody if you're trying if you're formatting your own program keep in the back of your mind keep in your thought process um you know how many muscles am i recruiting at, in this motion in this movement right uh am i am i hinging my hips on my lower body days on my upper body days am i Am I, is my, my push to pull ratio two to one? Am I pushing way more than I'm pulling, right? Like these, these things have to come into play. The, the back is a, you know, you, you know, training, where the hell did she go? The, the training the back is um, very, very important um, in strength training, no matter what you do. So um, yeah, I hope this helps. I hope, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I plan on making more videos like this uh, more consistently, um, posting them, 
this thought process is or this the things that I see in the gym and, and um, just to be able to reach out and help as many people as I possibly can um, regardless of whether you pay me or not um, just trying to give as much information out uh, the things that I see and things that I've utilized within my training and, um, and my clients to, to help them so I hope this helps I hope that uh, I hope I help at least one person you know I hope that this information gets out there it's all I really want to say so um, feel free to like subscribe leave a comment if you think I'm an idiot or I'm ugly. So, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, don't say I'm ugly. It hurt my feelings. Or that I'm fat. It's gonna hurt my feelings. Just kidding. So, um, have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving, day before Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate, you know, whatever you celebrate. You know, happy all of it. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever the thing is. Atheism, if you celebrate a holiday on atheism, I don't know. So, whatever you do guys, I'm rambling. Love you. Peace. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.